Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we have a very, very, very special video that I'm really excited to make. So ever since this game came out, um, basically since the very start, I've grinded ladder a ton. Um, I've always been around in the top community. I've always played with the best players for the most part of Brawl Stars, excluding the first couple months of release in beta. But I've been grinding this game a lot. It's almost been three years now and I'm about to hit a very huge milestone. So over here, you guys can see, I have a little bit of a different screen right now. I have the top 3v3 wins in Brawl Stars. And if I scroll down a little, you guys will see SSG Bobby, myself, is number one on the list. Now, the site isn't fully updated. I'm currently at 49,994 3v3 wins, which is in the lead, obviously. We have really other, we have really great players here, such as GJ, Albert, Akil, Patchy, Twisty, Feli. Yappy Maru, Yamada, the list goes on and on. A bunch of the top pro players are here. The website, by the way, Starless Pro, has really cool stats on here that I would definitely check out. But I'm only six games away from hitting 50,000 3v3 wins and being the first player ever in Brawl Stars to do so. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing this video. So with that being said, let's hop into our first game and let's try and get 50,000 3v3 wins. Okay, so here we go into the first game here. Now, before I start this off, let me say you guys have been just absolutely killing it with smashing the like button it's actually helped out a ton the channel has received more growth this month than it has in the previous like six so if i could ask you guys just to come to continue smashing that like button it does a huge 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 deal something you guys don't even understand and know it's really crazy so if you guys could hit the like button i would appreciate it a ton but anyways back into the video here we're going to be going pam on pam lane so i'm going to be grinding pam for the most part of this video just because i'm trying to get it to 800 and it's a really good lane on this map as you guys can see we're facing another pam i'm just going to go here and kind of like sneak these gems but it doesn't really work out because we're going to go down but ali should be able to get the the kill over there she is a really good mid really pro jesse um so she's gonna be able to get that kill um rc star is gonna explode and get a kill so it looks like we do have full control of the gems that's a really good pull over there because that take that takes some pretty good precision to not hit that turret actually but anyways we're doing a pretty good job over here kind of backing them up um okay we're able to dodge that so they do have the lead currently i'm gonna have to regen over here as this pam does have more health um but i think it's about equal right now really good job by ali for helping me out that we're going to be able to get a kill over there and really good play by rc and by ali to just hold really good control here we are running a three turret comp which obviously is really dangerous on a map that has a lot of walls and a lot of grass so we're going to be able to hold really good control it's currently going to be eight to five but they are kind of sneaking up this left side which is worrying me it looks like the dark eagle is also going to be going up that left so there is a gem on the ground. Obviously, this gene is scaring me a ton because I don't want this gene to get pulled. Looks like RC is going to go down over there, but at least he put a turret out to help body blocker to help with some stuff. I'm going to use my gadget to heal Allie over there. Her Jesse deflection is going to get a kill, and that should be the first game. So I'm going to put this back over here. Really good playing by Allie that game. She absolutely dominated. And it looks like this team has given up, so we're just going to run forward and just, I guess fool around with this team we're going to be able to get that win and that's going to lead us to only five games away from hitting 50k 3v3 wins so let's hop into the next game and let's see if we can get another dub okay so here we go on to the next game so we're going to be going up against a really powerful team over here so this is a really good team in fact we do get underdog for good reason so we're going to move up the left side over here and it looks like we're going to be getting the rosa lane now that should be a decent matchup now it is a really good rose and really good roses obviously are like very very sneaky so you do have to be careful for the sneak. Might be getting sneaked on right now. Oh, looks like they're doubling up my lane over here. Gonna throw this turret up just to try and figure out exactly where Mally is. So we're able to figure that out. I'm gonna push up right here. Just try and keep him hit, trying not to let him regen. But unfortunately, he, he keeps adding more grass. And that's gonna make it very hard for us to win lane over here. So we're gonna just keep shooting. Um, not too much that we can do outside of what we're doing right now, but we should be able to get that kill and we are gonna be able to. Crow's going to jump. Uh, really good kill by Kennedy over there. Very good player. Good friend of mine. Uh, so let's try and get our turret. We're going to try and just pinch them with the turret now. Trying to make some plays over here. Going to be able to kill Kennedy. Turret's going to be able to get that kill. I'm going to go down, but RC is going to be able to collect a bunch. And I think Kennedy also went down, so there might be nine gems on the ground. Maybe ten. Oh, oh no, no, Mally. Oh, really good play by RC over there. Hopefully we can take out Mally. We are going to be able to. I'm just going to push over here and try and body block if any gene super does come our way. We're able to get turrets, so I'm going to put this guy down over here. 
We're doing a really good job. I'm gonna stay on Slayer. Gonna use the gadget. Gonna be able to get that kill. And that should secure us the victory. Really good gadget over there by Ali. And that is going to give us the dub. So really good game over there. We even got the underdog bonus against this really good team. Kennedy with the 1,113 crow. Really well played. And now we are only four games or four wins, I should say, away from 50,000 3v3 wins. So let's hop into the next game and let's try and get that dub. Okay, so here we go into the next game over here. And this is a little bit of an interesting comp. I kind of don't like facing Mortises just because they're super, super unpredictable. But anyways, so we're going to move on to this left side. So the, clearly a Tara gadget is being used. As you guys can see, the eye right beside uh, my ammo, I suppose it's beside. Uh, we're going to be able to kill this Mortis shortly. Oh, maybe. Okay, there we go. We're able to get that kill. Gonna back up. Oh, I missed myself with that. I only healed RC and I don't really want to heal RC. So that's going to kind of be an L for that gadget. But we rarely use three gadgets anyway. So I guess we can use one to help out a friend. So we're going to try and just pinch this Mortis with the wall, basically. And essentially, we're doing a pretty good job. Currently five to nothing. Fairly good lead. The Sandy's trying to sneak behind us. Not too sure what its plans are. Is it's just going to die, but... I guess, you know, let the Sandy do what the Sandy wants. So we're going to try and get a kill over here. Mortis is going to try and make a play. Oh, very nifty Mortis we have over here. But we're still going to be able to get that kill. So it's 7 to nothing right now. Still really good domination by us. This triple turret comp seems pretty broken to me, to be honest. We're just going to throw that turret over there just because it looks kind of cool. But anyways, let's see what we can do. We're probably going to get solo pulled. Tara's gonna miss. Oh, but we're gonna be taken out by a sneaky Sandy. She's gonna be able to get a kill on the Mort. So we just gotta kill this Sandy over here. Don't really know where it is. Ali's got nine gems, so even if we don't kill the Sandy, we should probably just stick to protecting Ali. Oh, so this isn't good. This is not good at all. A lot of Sandstorm. Ali, good play by Ali. A lot of people would go for that gem. That's not the good play. Play it safe. There's a lot of time left in this game. Even if Ali does go down, she's going to go down in our spawn, which would make things a lot better than if she just died randomly. Um, so I'm going to give Ali that little heal over there. I'm just going to try and pick one up and bring it closer to Ali. We're going to be able to do that. And they only have seven gems on the ground right now, I believe. So that should be able to give us enough time to get this countdown. So I'm gonna push this Sandy back a little bit. There's obviously gonna be someone going on the right. So I'm just gonna shoot there. I'm gonna put my turret right where Ali is just for extra, you know, just in case heals, even though we should have it. Tara's gonna do a little bit of a, you know, troll kind of just super to left and that's gonna be another win. So we're able to get that one. Let's look at our profile real quick and let's see what we got over here. So we have a grand total of four, 49,997 3v3 wins. We only need three more. So with that being said, let's hop into the next game and let's get these three dubs. Okay, so moving on to the next game, another really good team here, um, but we should be able to do pretty good against it. Again, Pam is probably the best lane on this map for those of you who didn't know. Even though Pam is usually a mid, there's just like nowhere anyone can really go because Pam kind of covers the whole distance. Now, Max is also a really good lane, probably the only one that can compete with Pam, to be honest, so... This one might be a little bit tough, but it looks like we have the edge so far. Not able to get that kill over there. Let's see. We can get that hit. Okay, but unfortunately, there's a Penny over here trying to kill us. We're going to try and get some regen. Penny's going to miss all the shots. We're just going to push this Penny a little bit. Should be able to get the kill. We are going to be able to. going to use my gadget to gain HP. And just like that, all of a sudden, we have five uh five gems to our name now unfortunately there is a max here so let's figure out where this is and try not to die we're barely going to survive good job by ali keeping us alive over there she's going to put her turret in a very aggressive location and this is looking really good for us right now so we're able to get some good shots over there along with ali to try and just keep these guys pinched not let them do anything and we currently have eight gems so this is looking really good ali's going to be taken out over there though Oh, I'm going to be hit by that as well. And their spike is actually going to move up really aggressively. Uh, we basically only need one kill kind of to lock up this game. Actually, never mind since RC just died. So we currently have 10. Or sorry, not 10. I mean 7. I wish we had 10 right now. Currently have 7 gems, but we don't have any control. So that's something we're going to have to work on. So I'm going to be hit a bunch and die. Now, this might actually be a good thing because now I can go more aggressive since I don't have any gems. RC and Ali are able to pick up a kill on that side. So let's see if we can win a lane over here. RC is going to go down. I'm going to use my gadget over here and just try and take out this turret because it's obviously really annoying our team. Going to go for this kill. Going to be able to get one over here. RC's in a fight. I thought that was Ali, so that kind of scared me for a second. But we're able to have nine gems. 
which is a whole lot of gems if you consider we only need 10 to win the game. So I'm going to make a bold move up. Hopefully this works out. Going to use my gadget, all the heal I have. And unfortunately, I'm going to go down. RC is going to pick it up. He's going to try and make a play with his gadget, but he's not going to be able to. So we currently have nine gems. Very scary game right now. They have 10. Let's see if we can make a play. We're going to go down instantly, and this is looking really bad. RC is going to explode his cannon or whatever. They currently have 10 11 gems now now this is looking very bad this is not looking good rc gets some good penny splash but unfortunately that is going to be game and they're going to be able to take the w so that's going to be an l for us so max was really good over here so i guess play max if you're going to be on this map it was the only thing that really gave us a challenge so it's going to be an l let's hop into the next game still three wins away let's get into it okay so here we go into the next game so now this is a pretty good comp but i'm feeling pretty confident about the fact that ali's going to win over a poco because poco doesn't really have anyone to heal here so just like a rosa or a Frank or whatever. So we're going to be on lane with M's. Oh, it looks like Poco is going to be the lane. Interesting choice. Now we're going to try and get closer to this M's instead of further. M's doesn't really like that idea. Unfortunately, auto aim isn't cooperating, but we're going to be able to get our turret. So it doesn't really matter. And we're almost able to take out that crow, but it's not going to work out. So we're going to try and kill this M's over here. The M's is just going to focus on our turret for now, which is the right play. Um, but that does give us an advantage to kind of just like regen and get some ammo get locked up rc is going to be dead unfortunately i don't really like penny lane it seems to be working so far but i wouldn't really recommend it because it's kind of hard on this map because you don't really know where people are so we're gonna be able to pick up that kill over there gonna have our turret we're gonna put it a little bit more back so the m's can't shoot it so let's see if we can hit this poco we're gonna be able to hit him a couple times now we're basically just trying to get our turret again because that is kind of like our safety if we need more hp um colt doesn't really like the thought of us having a turret so he's gonna break our walls i'm gonna use my gadget to heal myself and ally i'm gonna try and push this m's the m's get some really good shots off on me though unfortunately um okay good explosion over there by rc we just gotta watch out for this m's almost able to kill it but really good heals over there by the poco was gonna keep this m's alive i'm gonna throw an aggressive turret right into this colt's face because our turret does do 500 damage per second and outside of the damage it basically just keeps it ticked so it can't actually do anything or regen so we're just going to run right into this colt's face go for the kill we're going to be able to get it and this one should be a w now i don't think the poco can heal or it can kill us but there is a chance that this ems can so hopefully ali is aware that ems can hurt us same thing with the colt ems or well, ems is going to go down colt's going to try and do something Nothing can happen. Shot at the wrong turreted brawler. And that is going to give us a win. So we're now two games away from 50,000 3v3 wins. I'm going to go into the menus. I'm going to change brawlers. Let's see what I changed because I don't really know what I want to go yet. Let's hop into the next game and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And we decided to go Mr. P. Um, no really reason. Mr. P isn't really great here. He's probably okay, but um, I just want to get him 800 and he's pretty close to it. So that's going to be the goal here. So we're going to get some shots off. This Nita isn't really going to be able to do anything. We're going to be able to get that kill. And we're going to just put our porter right over here. Kind of in a place where they can't really hit it. Um, Mr. P is a decent lane, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. Just because you kind of have to guess their movement when they're in the grass. And that's kind of hard to do. But anyways, we're doing a pretty good job over here at keeping this Nita tapped. I think the Nita is going to give up and switch lanes after we kill it this time. Not too sure. Hopefully we can hit this Piper and kind of chip away. Currently 5 to nothing, so things are looking pretty good over here. Nita, yep, is going to switch lanes. So I guess we're going to have to deal with this bow. Going to put mines on our lane. Okay, I thought I went too far down for a second. I think we're going to die here. I'm going to use my super on the porter. Um, okay, we're going to go down. But I think by putting that porter down, we're going to end up uh, we're gonna end up tying. So Nita finally decides that it can come back to our lane. But I don't think we're going to accept that very lightly. Ali's going to be able to pick up her 10th. Ooh, that Piper is coming in for the sneak. We're not going to allow it. We're going to be able to get a couple kills. And this bow can't really do anything. Oh, I tried to use my gadget. Didn't end up working. Going to be able to get that kill, though. And that looks like it's going to be game. So now there is only one more game until 50k. I'm super pumped for this. I'm very excited. It's been a long time coming. I've been in, four, in the 40,000s for an incredibly long time since I kind of stopped pushing for the last kind of year so there it is four nine 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 let's hop into the last game and let's hope we can get this 50k win okay so here we go into our next game so we're going to be going up against a really good comp over here brock mid is kind of underrated i'm not gonna lie brock mid's kind of goaded here so we're gonna be going up against an m's or a primo hopefully the m's even though it's a harder lane i don't think with mr p we're going to be able to do enough damage to kill a primo before it just runs into our face 
I have no clue where this M's is. Okay, it looks like I found her. We're gonna go down. This might be a really challenging game. I know it kind of looks like a bunch of random brawlers, but because of our team composition, this one might be a little bit difficult. Sometimes it's the random comps that end up hurting you the most. So Ali's gonna go for a gem or something. She's not gonna be able to get anything. I'm just gonna put my porter down over here, trying to bother this Primo. The Primo is one shot. Going for the kill, we're not going to be able to get it. My porter's going to do, or my gadget's going to be able to do a little bit of work, but basically nothing. Um, so it's four to three, kind of even right now. We're going to put my porter over here because it can kind of figure out where everything is. Oh, there's a Brock, and I guess there's not a porter anymore. So five to three, looking pretty good. Oh, this Primo's going to go for a play. Really good stun over there by Ali. We only need one more gem now to get it to 10 to nothing. I'm gonna go up for this gem and we're gonna run back over here. Um, oh, we're one shot, this is kind of scary. Okay, I'm gonna regen over here. 11 seconds, that's all we need to survive for. I'm gonna go for the Brock because the Brock does a lot of damage, able to get it. Ali, oh, Ali's gonna go down. Gonna be able to collect the gems though. Good job by RC over there by hitting that shot. And here we go, we just gotta hold on for another 15 seconds and we can get that 50k 3v3 win. So 11 seconds left, 10, it's looking pretty good over here. Seven seconds. Arcee's going to be able to pick up a kill. I don't know if that Primo's going to have enough time to go over there and kill him. He's not going to be able to, and that's going to be it. We have hit 50,000 3v3 wins. So there's a 0% chance I'm going to miss out on the screenshot. So before we get into the next game, let me go over here and get that screenshot. And there we go, 50,000 3v3 victories, the first player to ever do so. I'm super pumped. This is super cool. And But... But yeah, that's about it. This is all I really wanted to do this video. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was really cool. I'm super stoked to hit this 50k milestone. It's really awesome. Obviously, almost took three years. It took a while, but I'm happy I'm able to do it. Anyways, it's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe. But that's going to be it. I will see you guys tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.